All right. So before we get any further, I, w I want to talk about this concept of, ma of a matrix factorization or decomposition. Now, uh, this is the same thing as, as we did in algebra a long time ago as a factorization. So for example, let's say that we have the number 12. That number 12 can be factored. It can be uh, represented as a product of two other numbers. For example, uh, 3 times 4. That's uh, one possible factorization. Uh, another possible factorization of 12 is uh, 3 times 2 times 2. Right? It doesn't have to be a binary factorization. It doesn't just have to have two parts. It could have three parts. In this case, it has three parts. 3 times 2 times 2. Uh, it could be 12 equals uh, 2 times 6. Right? So here are a few different factorizations of the number 12, or decompositions. This is another way of, of saying the same thing. Well, uh, we actually do the same thing in linear algebra all the time. We take a matrix A and we decompose that matrix A. And, and there are a lot of different uh, decompositions that we do and in linear algebra. So let's, uh, let's take in one example. Uh, the, and, and you don't have to know what these are. It, I just want to show you that there are different uh, factorizations that we do, and and they're they're very useful uh, to do these things, and we do it all the time. So these things would be inverse. Okay, so for example, this first one, a equals u sigma v star. Um, this is actually the singular value decomposition of A, and, and we don't need to get into what that is, but this is a special decomposition of A that's, that's useful in solving problems. Another, another useful decomposition is the eigenvalue decomposition, uh, where we have this V sigma, uh, or V lambda V inverse, uh, and, and that's another decomposition of A. Uh, another possible decomposition of A is this LU decomposition, uh, another decomposition of A is uh, QR. That's a, that's a factorization. Uh, we call it QR factorization or QR decomposition. Uh, there's also, um, oh shoot, we could come up with others. Um, uh, the Cholesky decomposition, uh, which is equal to L, L star. Okay, so here's here's another decomposition, the Cholesky decomposition, and 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 there are a whole bunch of others, right? Uh, but I just want to make it clear that this is something that we do all the time in linear algebra. Are these decompositions? This one's this one just just for the record. This one's actually sort of like this idea of a square root because twelve is obviously equal to the square root of twelve times the square root of twelve. Right. So uh, there's all sorts of decompositions that we can do. And one interesting thing uh, to note is actually uh, the inverse of a matrix is a decomposition. If, if we have uh, the identity matrix I, we can decompose that into uh, the parts A, A inverse. And you see this is a decomposition of the identity of the identity matrix uh, because a a inverse by definition is equal to uh, the identity matrix. This is a key key concept in all of linear algebra.